Amazon, if you're watching this, you better watch out. Your biggest competitor, Kobo, released not one, not two, but three new e-readers that directly compete with all the Kindles. In today's video, we'll be talking all about the latest Kobo news. Now just keep in mind that these devices aren't actually out yet. They were just announced. And there are a few small details I'm a little bit skeptical about. I'll be sharing all my thoughts in this video. Now, if you already know that you want to buy one of these new Kobos, they are available for pre-order right now and they start shipping on April 30th. So if you do want to get one, I recommend putting your pre-order in now just in case they get back ordered and shipping delays start to happen when they actually come out. So the first announcement that I want to talk about is the new Libra Color. Now this device will be starting at 219 US dollars and the flagship feature of this device is its seven inch color display. Now this color display technology is not new. It's using a Kaleido 3 screen filter, which is something we've been seeing quite a bit now on other e-readers. And the technology is very usable, but I do have my concerns about it. The first notable thing is the black and white resolution is 300 ppi and the color resolution is only 150 ppi. Now in practice, you're not going to see much of a difference here. It actually looks really good when you use it, at least from the other devices that I've used that have the same technology. And I'm sure the Libra color will be very, very similar. My personal biggest gripe with this Kaleido 3 screen is the screen is actually a lot less bright because it's a whole other filter being put on top of the screen. What this means for people like you and me is when we're using the Libra color, we'll definitely have to have the front light turned on and probably at a higher setting than we're used to. Now, speaking of the front light, just as we would expect, the Libra color also will have an adjustable warm light screen, which is very handy for reading at night. And something new that they're adding from what I've read on other news websites is they're adding an e Carta 1300 display. Now, again, for everyday people like you and me, if this device does have that new 1300 display technology, all that means for us is it's gonna be a little bit faster, supposedly up to 35% faster. Now, the other big headline feature of the Libra Color is the fact that they're adding note-taking capabilities to this device. Now, Kobo is not new to the world of note-taking on e-readers. We've already had it on the Kobo Sage as well as the Kobo Ellipsa, but the fact that they're also adding this to the Libra lineup with a color display is very unique. Now, unfortunately, the stylus that you have to use for the Kobo is being sold separately at a whopping cost of 69 US dollars. So combined with the Libra color itself, you're gonna be paying almost $300 for this device with the stylus. Now, something else that I found a little bit funny about the Libra color is that they do have two different color options for it, but those two colors are only black and white. I thought the Libra color would come in a few other colors, but I guess they just stuck with a very simple black and white option. Now, another important feature that you might find useful is water resistance. The Libra color will be water resistant, which I know is a really important feature for for a lot of folks. Now, my general thoughts about the Libra Color are very positive. I'm very excited to try it out. I think the fact that color e-ink technology is making its way to a mainstream player in the industry like Kobo is a very positive sign. It'll probably put a lot of pressure on Amazon as well. With that being said, I don't know if this technology is quite ready for prime time everyday people. Up until now, the devices that have had color e-ink require a lot of finagling with the settings. And I'm very curious to see how Kobo will be addressing this, if they're going to be adding additional advanced options for color settings, or if they're going to keep it as simple as possible. Personally, I really do hope they keep it simple and don't make it as complicated as other devices I've used. I really don't like having to change all these different settings for every app I use or every book I open. I'm also very interested to try out the note-taking capabilities. I've always enjoyed enjoy taking notes while reading, but the screen sizes for those devices tend to be too big. So having it on a seven inch screen size is actually really appealing to me. They basically made a Kindle Scribe Mini with a color screen, which on paper sounds too good to be true. And of course, I can't talk about a Kobo Libra without mentioning the page turn buttons. I'm a bit worried about the build quality of this device. They are using recycled plastic, which is awesome. I really, really love that and how they make that a point to mention in their product page. But in the past with the Libra series, the page turn buttons haven't always worked for me. So I really do hope the build quality of this device is just as good as before, if not better with improved page turn buttons. That would be so ideal. Now, before talking about the next two Kobo announcements, I do have to say it really doesn't matter which e-reader you use, whether it's one of these new Kobos, a Kindle or any other device, it doesn't matter. What does matter though, is having a daily reading habit and reading books. All that matters is the act of actually reading. Now, something that's really helped me read 
read more books is having some accountability and being part of a book club. I want to invite you to join my nonfiction book club, which has over a thousand people from around the world. It's been such a wholesome experience reading a new book together every single month. The book club is completely free to join. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Again, it's a great way to interact with me and other bookworms who share like-minded interests. I'll leave a link down below with all the details. Now, the next Kobo announcement that I want to talk about is the Clara Color. This will be a device being sold at 149 US dollars. And again, just like the Libra, they're adding a color screen to it using the Kaleido 3 color filter. Now, what makes this device pretty unique is the fact that it has a smaller screen. Most Kindles and Kobos now have a seven inch or above screen. So the fact that they're having a new six inch screen with color is actually really exciting. Now, just like the Libra color, the Clara color will also be water resistant, which I know is a very important feature for a lot of people, but the storage on this will be less, only coming in at 16 gigabytes. But if you ask me, storage on a device that is meant for reading books is really not that important. You can get by with a lot less unless you're storing a lot of audiobooks, which take up more space. Now, my general thoughts on the Clara Color are also very positive. I'm actually really excited for this device because it doesn't have any note-taking features. So it's even more focus and emphasis on reading and the color screen will be very useful for a lot of people who just care about reading, especially if all you do is read graphic novels or mangas. This device could be very, very useful for you. And just like the Libra Color, they're also upgrading the screen technology to the new Carta 1300 display, which again is supposed to be a bit faster than before. So we should see some general improvements all around. Now the third and final Kobo announcement that we have to talk about today is the new Clara black and white edition coming in at 129 US dollars. Now this device is essentially the same exact thing as the Clara 2E, which we've had for sale now for quite a while now, but the only difference is the new and improved e-ink screen. So we should be seeing some speed improvements, but besides that, it's the same exact device. Now, if you already have a Clara 2E, I don't think it's worth upgrading to this new black and white edition, but if you're in the market for a new six inch e-reader, this is a very competitive option. If you don't care about color, if you don't care about note taking, this is probably the best value you're gonna get for a six inch e-reader. Again, from Kobo especially, they're a great player in the industry. This is a great package at a great price point. Now, I do plan on making review videos for all these new Kobos, so stay tuned for those. But until then, I definitely suggest watching my Kindle versus Kobo video, which will show you all the differences between these two ecosystems. Link for that video on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.